Welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, but my grandkids call me Gramps. We are on day 2015 of our trek, and one habit that I practice nearly every day for the past 45 plus years of my adult life is to read a chapter in the book of Proverbs that corresponds to the day of the month. This single habit has been the catalyst for gaining wisdom and creating a living legacy. Adopting this habit in your life can do the same for you. The realization that God's wisdom is the only true wisdom drives me to seek out God's wisdom each day. And there is no better way to do this than to meditate on God's book of wisdom. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Today I will read Proverbs chapter 6. The book of Proverbs chapter 6. Lessons for Daily Life My child, if you put up security for a friend's debt or agree to guarantee the debt of a stranger, if you have trapped yourself by your agreement and are caught by what you said, follow my advice and save yourself, for you have placed yourself at your friend's mercy. Now swallow your pride. Go and beg to have your name erased. Don't put it off. Do it now. Don't rest until you do. Save yourself like a gazelle escaping from a hunter, like a bird fleeting from a net. Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy bones. Learn their ways and become wise. Though they have no prince or governor or ruler to make them work, they labor hard all summer, gathering food for the winter. But you, lazy bones, how long will you sleep? When will you wake up? A little extra sleep, a little more slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. Scarcity will attack you like an armed robber. What are worthless and wicked people like? They are constant liars, signaling deceit with a wink of their eyes, with a nudge of their foot, or the wiggle of their fingers. Their perverted hearts plot evil, and they constantly stir up trouble. But they will be destroyed suddenly, broken in an instant beyond all hope of healing. There are six things that the Lord hates, no, seven things that he detests. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that kill innocent blood, a heart that plots evil, feet that race wrong to do good, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who sows discord in a family. My son, obey your father's commands, and don't neglect your mother's instructions. Keep their words always in your heart. Tie them around your neck. When you walk, their counsel will lead you. When you sleep, they will protect you. When you wake up, they will advise you. For their command is a lamp, and their instruction a light. Their corrective discipline is the way to life. It will keep you from the immoral woman, from the smooth tongue of the promiscuous woman. Don't lust for her beauty. Don't let her coy glances seduce you. For a prostitute will bring you to poverty, but sleeping with another man's wife will cost you your life. Can a man scoop a flame into his lap and not have his clothes catch on fire? Can he walk on hot coals and not blister his feet? So it is a man who sleeps with another man's wife. He who embraces her will not go unpunished. Excuses may be found for a thief who steals because he is starving, but if he is caught, he must pay back seven times what he has stole, even if he has to sell everything in his house. But a man who commits adultery is an utter fool, for he destroys himself. He will be wounded and disgraced. His shame will never be erased. For a woman's jealous husband will be furious, and he will show no mercy when he takes revenge. He will accept no compensation, nor be satisfied with the payoff of any size. And today as you ponder Proverbs chapter 6, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, Listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.